guys, somebody was asking me if I could show them how I freeze my green and yellow beans. So this is just a, a little quick video to show you. I have my boiling water. I've already done like three batches, that's why the water's green. And then I got a bowl of ice water. And then I have a pitcher of ice ready to top it off with some ice because you gotta stop it from cooking. So we're gonna drop that in there. And once it comes to a boil, time it for three minutes, okay? After three minutes, I'm gonna drop them in there and then I'm gonna strain them. So All right, guys, so that's three minutes. And I've got my ice water set aside. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Usually I use two hands. Anyways, I'm going to scoop those out, put them in ice water, and let them sit in there. But when I have them all in there, I cover it with ice still. I want that water cold. Stop cooking. Okay, okay so it's all cool. I'll touch them. So we're going to strain them. And then after I strain those for a couple minutes, leave them in there for a couple minutes. Then you come here, and I've got a cooling rack under there. I put paper towels in between each layer. Just spread them out and let them dry out on the counter for a couple hours. And then we will vacuum seal them. Now, if you don't have a vacuum sealer, you guys, you got to invest in a vacuum sealer. Because when you have a vacuum sealer, you could do this kind of stuff. So, yeah, those are all beans. Yeah. There's no air in them at all. And they're good for, I have some that are four or five years old. So, there you go, guys. Just cut yourself a bag. March. It's been drying for about two hours on the counter, so they're all dry. Oops, no, that's not what I want. And there you go. Perfect portion for two people. So I'm going to put the date on there, freeze it, and that's all there is to it. Thanks a lot. Bye.